Hello, I'm Anise McNamee from Funky Hand and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a word book. Now you'll find word books on our original CD-ROMs Funky Days and Funky Word Books and you'll also find word book generators on all our Papercraft Factory uh, releases. Right, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make a, a, a word book. Now this word book has been made from um, a CD, a papercraft CD-ROM, uh, Craft the Year Away, uh, and it's from a collection uh, called September Song. So if you want to make something the same, you know where you can find it on the word book generator section of that CD. Um, but just to give you a, a, a good idea, I mean this is a very very simple card, um, but I wanted I wanted to like explain to you exactly how how to do it so that you you don't have any problems. Now you can make um, word books uh, about probably about five maybe six letters long, um, leaving you enough room to connect them together. Obviously, if you if you have them right right up up to the edge where you connect them then you may be able to get more in and you might be able to squeeze more letters in. Uh, we do have word book envelopes that are about six inches long uh, available on the website so you can have a look at those if you want to in, in cream and white. So hopefully you'll be able to find something that you, you want it to, to fit into what you make. But anyway, what we're going to do is going to ha make, make the, I'll show you how I made this, um, this word book. So first of all, I printed off all of the letters, the F, U and the N. And this is how they look. I'll move this out of the way. This is how they look when they come off. Now, obviously, when they're printed off, they come off on, on an, I, an I4 sheet. Now, with these particular uh, um, letters, uh, I haven't printed on the back uh, but you could quite easily just once you've printed off your your letter before you cut them out put the, the, the card back into into your um, printer and print uh, a, an alter uh, an alternative uh, backing paper or the same paper of whatever whatever you wanted really on the back on the back and that way that you, you when you cut it out you'll have uh, papers on the back as well. But I just wanted to leave them white today just so that it makes it easier for you to be able to see how to put them together. So once you've got your 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 uh, letters pages printed out all you need to do is then very simply just using a pair of scissors is cut out each of the um, each of the letters. Now it's completely up to you. I have just cut them to the edges of the letters and then gone along along the square of the of the word book page but if you wanted to you could cut out the f quite tightly um, i mean as you can see with the u i've actually gone round the edges of the u but i could have left the square that was there before it's, it's so each um, word book that you make is is totally yours it's unique you could even print off two pages and perhaps layer up the letters if you want to i mean really the world is your oyster once you've got once you've you, you've decided on your word and how you want to lay it out but now for now i'm just going to do this really simple one and show you exactly how to do it so now we've got our letters pulled out but of course all the they're all the, they're all the same length so what we need to do is we need to line them up and we need to choose how we want them to be to be uh whether we want them really close or further apart etc now what you need to take into consideration is how you're going to attach your your word book together now how i've attached it is i've just scored and i'll show you this later just made a simple score line at the same point on each of the pages and glued them together and and that would that's it but if you've got a bind it all machine uh, you could bind them together you could put holes in them and tie them together with ribbons or cord or any I mean honestly you could do whatever you like but I'm just I'm just doing a very simple card today uh, you can have a lot more fun with them when you've got them, when you've got them sat in front of you so all you need to do is get them lined up and you're happy uh, about where where you want your 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 letters to stand also thinking about where you want 
to just join and how much room you want need to, to join them together and also if you're going to put any other uh, uh, and any other messages etc and all you need to do is you need you just need to decide where you're going to you want each of your pages to end and just using a, a, very, a, pen, a pencil just mark it in the same place just mark it again okay so there you are and when you take these away you'll have marks in the right place for each for each of your your um, your pages. Now, if you want to be very good, you could get your ruler and you could rule down. And if you if you if you don't have a cutter uh, you, and you needed to cut by hand, and that would be a, a good idea. But what I'm going to do is just cut them to the length with my. cut up and the great thing is as well you're probably already noticing you're getting some ex little extra bits that are left over and they are great for either using on other cards or for matching in with this and if you're going to add things to your to, to, to your word book I mean you can just use it as a card obviously uh, or you can use it as a mini scrapbook and that is wonderful and that can be a wonderful gift uh, for somebody, if you if for a special occasion after a wedding, or um, when when a new baby is born, etc. And obviously, look at it, all these papers; all match the the match in, and they'd be great for layering pictures on or anything else. So now, as I've said before, while I was doing that, my fun is now all lined up. Okay, you can see that. Now, I was being lazy. And what I've done is I'd already done it already. Aha! So there we are with my fun already done. And now what I've also done is I'd marked about an inch in and I've scored. And you can't really see it very clearly here, but if I bend this, you'll be able to see it. I've scored each of these pages so that they will bend. And I've done it with each of them. We'll see it here. All at the same point. Okay? So that each of my so my pages will open and move around at the same point. And I even scored the back. I mean, you don't have to. You could leave the back one flat if you wanted it to not to move. But I've used the back, uh, done the back one as well, so that it, because this is quite a short card, it'll pull back and it'll stand up nicely. Now, the next thing to do is to attach your um, your your cards together. Uh, your pages together. Now what I like to do is I like to use wet glue. And you know what? My wet glue has decided it doesn't want to be used. So you can see it doesn't matter who you are, you still have to have you still have to have all the you know, have all the normal problems of putting the crafting together. But the great thing is about this is that it's something that you can pull together really quite quickly and it can look really, really impressive. So if you've got a if you've got suddenly discovered that you've you've got a, an important card that needs to be made uh, or you you perhaps have an order from somebody uh, because you don't that Funky Hand do have an angel policy so that if you are actually hand making the items and just printing them yourself personally you're able to you're able to sell your your word books uh, and no problem at all now as I said I use I use, I use wet glue because I'm not very good at lining things up uh, but if you are then use double sided tape uh, or you could use a binder tool machine or whatever at this point so there we are so there's our, our word book put together and it'll stand up quite nicely but what we're going to do what I'm going to do now is just very quickly uh, have a little bit of bit of fun with it because you I mean obviously you can now dress it up just exactly as you like but what I did was using the writer from the uh, craft the year away um, CD uh, I just I just printed out have some funky fun fun and all I'm going to do is very quickly and easily wet glue again just pop that 
and I'm not one for putting things straight, I've got to admit. I mean, I like to say, oh yes, you know, so it gives it a funky edge, etc. But you know what? It also makes it easier. <laughs> Uh, so that you don't have to worry too much about things being nice and even. But if you're a, a crafter that likes things to be nice and even, then you do whatever you like. That's the great thing about Funky Hand products, is that you can do whatever you like. It's that once it's in your hands, that's it. It's yours. You can do with it as you wish. And you can make whatever you want to. So there we are. There's me putting in some funky fun I mean you could now you could put um, oh gosh anything you could stick stick making each of the letters more interesting perhaps doing a bit of doodling using um, Sakura pens whatever maybe maybe you've got a, a, a favorite um, stamp that you you've colored in with prima your prima pens or whatever no problem you, you could pop it on and make it specific for that person now all I've done and you can see on this one I've got I've got I've got some a little bit of uh, green um, ribbon and so I've just found some uh, some different green ribbon and I'm just going to pop it on um, I'm as you probably know I'm not very dexterous as I have like sort of one and a half hands so this I'd like to show that you know even if I can do make a word book then you can definitely make a word book. So I'm not too great with tying, tying bows. So most of my ribbon tying tends to be uh, made with, with knots. <laughs> but that can be fun too. So we can just cut those, those off, those edges off. Make it a little shorter. There you go. And you could stick that down actually because it's a little bit loose because I've left a little bit loose. But there you go, there's another version of, of the, 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 the word book. And hopefully that's given you some ideas and also ha the idea of how to actually make your first word book. <laughs>